In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a custom hardcover Coptic stitch book. Paper is a fairly easy material to work with, so I like using it on most of the hardcover Coptic stitch books I make. This video will mainly focus on the covers, but I will also show you how to make the entire book. Here's a list of materials and tools I'll be using. First off, I'm going to fold all my paper in half and run the bone folder across the folded edge. And then stack the pages in groups of four to make signatures. Then I'm going to take one signature and trace it on my board, using it as a template to make the covers. For more about the board you can use for the covers, check out my video here. I'll also include the link in the description below. Now cut the boards out with a utility blade. And now it's time to wrap the covers. I'm using this Elmer's Craft Bond Extra Strength Glue Stick, but you can use PVA glue as well. In my experience, this particular brand of glue stick has been a good alternative to use on paper hard covers. If you're covering your book in any other type of material that isn't paper, I would stick to using PVA glue. Now take one of your covers and put many coats of glue on the inside, then coat the outer edges. Then push it down on the center of the paper. You can flip it over and run the bone folder across to smooth out any air bubbles. Now using scissors or an X-Acto blade, cut all corners at an angle like this and leave a little gap of paper at the corner tips. Then glue one flap at a time. You can put a piece of scrap paper down in case the glue gets messy. If you bend the edge over like this, it creases the paper which helps the flap glue on evenly. You can then pinch over those little gaps on the corner tips and continue gluing on the rest of the flaps. Repeat the same process on the other cover. After both covers are wrapped, make the inside covers. For this book, you should be able to trim these from one 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. Then glue them onto the covers. Put a lot of coats on the inside of the cover, and then apply coats on the outer edge of the paper. Then press the paper down centered on the cover and run the bone folder to smooth out. Repeat this on the other cover. Now it's time to make the holes for binding. I prefer to make the holes toward the top and bottom of the book in order to make the binding a little less wiggly. So I'm going to take one signature and mark four holes 3 fourths inch apart on both ends. Then stack all the signatures together and using the marked one as a guide on the top, 
Use something with a straight edge and mark the rest of the signatures like this. Then using an awl, pierce holes on the marks on each signature and keep them stacked in their original order. Now take one signature, align it on the cover about a quarter inch from the edge, and pierce next to the signature holes. Then pierce the holes completely through so that your needle will be able to go through. Repeat this on the other cover. Now you're ready to complete your book with Coptic Stitch Binding. To learn how to Coptic Stitch Bind, click on this tutorial here. You can also find the link in the description below. After Coptic Stitch Binding, your book is finished. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Knowing how to wrap your own hardcovers gives you so many more cover design options. If you end up making your own after watching my tutorial, feel free to post a pic on my Facebook page or leave a video response, and leave your comments below. For more tutorials, be sure to subscribe and check out the videos on my channel. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. Just check out the description below for direct links to my pages.